Your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the top stories we are following today. A Flint rapper charged in a murder for hire plot. This man, Clifton Terry, also known as Cliff Mack, is accused of hiring a man to murder a Sterling Heights woman for $10,000 in cash. A federal grand jury issued a superseding indictment with several charges, including conspiracy to commit murder for hire. The indictment claims Terry hired 25 year old Andre Sims to carry out the killing. It says Sims drove to the woman's home in November of 2020 and fired seven to eight shots at her. Despite being hit multiple times, she survived. Terry is also accused of first degree murder in the killing of Devaro Davis at Eagle Ridge Square Apartments in August of last year. The former educator accused of sexual assault in front of a judge this morning. Eugene Pratt appeared for a probable cause hearing on a charge of criminal sexual conduct in the first degree. It stems from an incident in 2013 when Pratt worked for Beecher schools. Pratt worked in several mid-Michigan school districts since the 80s. A judge kept his bond at $25,000 and he'll be back in court for a preliminary exam on September 13th. A Saginaw County woman says her jaw dropped about a foot when she realized she had won $300,000 playing the Michigan Lottery. The lucky 62 year old purchased the cash word multiplier instant game ticket at the GC Express gas station on Mertz Road in Cairo. She says she plans on using her winnings to make some home improvements. Last year, lottery players won more than $1.8 billion playing instant games. And now here's John with your forecast. Thank you, David. We got your forecast coming your way for the rest of Thursday. It looks like there still will be some shower and storm chances as we go into the afternoon and evening. Here's a look at temperatures. Where would you go for later on today? I think we got a good mix of the upper 70s and even a few low 80s. The further south you go near Genesee County, not going to be out of the question there. We we'll also want to go ahead and show you the latest on the hour by hour as we're going into this afternoon and evening. Now it's not going to be an all day rain. I think there will be a few areas of some dry time in between any showers and or storms that we do see, but you see some of those yellows, oranges and reds on the map could be a moderate to even heavy local pocket of rain and even some gusty winds all could be associated with any thunderstorm development that we do see later on this evening. Now as we go later into tonight, I think any rain chances become a little bit less as we get into the day on Friday. Still going to have that slim chance as we get closer to daybreak Friday morning, so not out of the question to still see a shower or two as we're heading out the door back to work and back to school to the bus stop, but trends will be for us to slowly dry things down behind a weak cold front into the day on Friday. Looks like we will start to get rid of some of the cloud cover and also get rid of some of the humidity, and that does look to set us up for a pretty nice weekend ahead. So there you go into the next seven shower and storm chances will continue for the rest of your Thursday into early Friday, Saturday, Sunday, last weekend of August. Can you believe we're there? It's looking like a winter. Take advantage if you can. Some sunshine temperatures there in the 80s. We will bring back a few more shower and storm chances as we do go into next week. Temperatures still there will keep you right in the mid 80s. And the first one five weather Center. I'm meteorologist John Gross. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.